Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the left hand corner. We're going to change this to play structure. I want to save this so it's going to. I'm just going to change this to play structure. Okay. Wait, if it crashes, um, we'll get it back quickly. So I'm going to get rid of our model here. Um, we're going to go to the rectangle tool first. You can just type R, snap to the rectangle tool. I'm going to snap one point and then drag in the general direction this way. So I've only clicked one time. I'm going to go, you'll see down in the right hand corner, the dimensions box. I'm going to go four foot, comma, four foot. So we're doing four feet by four feet. I'm going to hit enter and it will give me that rectangle. Um, at this point, I'm going to snap to the selection tool. Um, so that's just the space bar. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in on this, uh, toggle around, oops, we'll go pan, okay. You can always right click to go um, back and forth between these. Um, so I'm going to kind of get that in the center of the page right there, or center of our screen. On the left, I'm going to choose a tool called the dimension tool. This is under the tape measure. Uh, normally the third up on our um, on our toolbar here and we're going to go dimension tool and I'm going to select two sides of this rectangle so I'm going to select right here and grab the edge and I'm going to drag it out and you'll see I get actually get a four foot marker that way I can see that it's actually four feet and I'm going to drag out here as well and go four feet as well okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. It's going to give me my pull tool. I select this. I'm going to go up in the general direction. Okay, and we're going to go up four inches. So by pulling up slightly, now I can type four and parentheses and pull it up to exactly four inches. Um, I'm going to go to my selection tool. Um, it's because I don't want drama, and I'm going to select on the left and grab this edge okay and drag out and that will give me a four inch height there okay um, now what I'm going to do this is going to be the roof of a play structure we're going to build the whole thing over a few lessons just to make sure that you have all the basic skills so we're going to put in the line uh, a line across the ridge. You guys have done this before, but we're going to go L, give me the line tool. I want you to select the point, which is kind of this glowing blue dot right there. And then we're going to go across to the opposite side, to the midpoint. And that gives me that line. I'm going to select now M, and that's the move tool. And I want to grab this roof, and I want to pull up. Okay, and you can see where that, that highlights and it says on blue axis, okay? Um, if you start pulling forward or backwards, you'll go off that axis, but it, it will snap to the blue axis. As I'm pulling in the general direction up, I can just start typing and I go 12 inches and hit enter. You can see that in the distance in the lower right corner. And then I hit enter and it snaps exactly to that spot, okay? Do that again I'm going to hit the selection tool just to get out of that and I'm going to go to the dimension tool again right here I'm going to select the top um, endpoint um, and drag down to the bottom and it should be one foot four inches and just kind of drag that dimension out so now we have this kind of this kind of roof shape with all of my dimensions in it um, just so the signature is on there as well, um, I'm going to go to the selection tool again, spacebar, so that I don't store it anything. I'm going to triple click on the shape, so one, two, three, really fast, and everything is highlighted blue. And then once I get my shape looking the way I want it, I'm going to right click and hit make group. Um, this is going to prevent the shape from being distorted as I move it. 
Um, from here, I'm going to type M, which is the move tool again. I'm going to grab this group and I'm going to kind of pull up okay, along the blue axis. And as I, whoops, as I go up in that general direction, I'm going to type six feet, six feet, and hit enter. Um, now you see it has disappeared, but that is because I need to zoom out, and there it is. So um, I'm going to hit my pan tool again. You can right click, whoops, I'm going to go select. There we go. Um, and I'm going to zoom in on my selection. So we have, this is what it should look like finally, um, is kind of like this roof that's floating in space. Okay. And that's the end. Uh, that's what I want you to submit today. Put your signature on the outside of this. If you want to know how to do the signature, we're going to go here. Um, I'll just show this one time. We're going to go insert. We want to go to my computer. I want to scroll through um, my pictures and grab my file that says signature. Um, and I have a bunch in here. Um, we'll do with the, the green one right now. Okay. And then we're going to drop this in as an image. You guys know how to do this by now. I'm going to go on the face and shrink it down. Okay. Um, and then you just want to submit a screenshot of this with the dimensions showing into Schoology. And that's it for today. Thank you.